welcome back to Indulge with Dimples. Today we're going to be doing a simple easy meal. It takes less than 10 minutes to make this meal and I'm going to tell you it St. Patrick's Day is coming up so this will work out for you. So if you like sauerkraut the only time you get to eat is around this time because you know St. Patrick's Day, Selfridge's Day they have all this good sauerkraut stuff. You're like oh I gotta get me, gotta get me some. But when you try to make it it's bitter it has like a tang to it and you're like why why well i got you today take out your notebooks your pens your paper your tablet whatever you need to write this down so i'm gonna show you how to make this recipe sauerkraut and polish sauces or some type of meat inside or you can do a cabbage roll with it it don't matter i'm gonna show you how to make sauerkraut not bitter taste good and you're gonna be like why did i not know that and it's good and healthy for people that are on the diet so Come with me, come with me, follow me in the kitchen, and let's get this on the move, all right? All right, guys, so right now we're going to make sauerkraut and sausage. This is really good, easy, simple meal to make. It's even healthy, too. Um, it doesn't take that many ingredients. It's a one-pot meal start to end, and I'm going to show you how you can make your sauerkraut not bitter okay so i'm going to use the sauerkraut in the pack you can also use the sauerkraut that's in the jar doesn't really matter or homemade sauerkraut which is really good because you can get flavors i have already cut up some sausages these are turkey you can use polar sausage you can use beef you can use whatever you can even use chicken so what i'm going to do is actually put a little bit of oil in this pan use whatever oil you choose to use or you can use a little bit of butter for browning and then I'm gonna dump my sausages in there and I have a little bit of red onion because I like a red onion in my sauerkraut and sausage so let's get to it alright guys in this hot pan we're gonna add a tablespoon of butter let it sizzle we're gonna add our meat in there any kind of meat that you want add your red onions I also went ahead and add some bell peppers some red bell peppers that's what you see right now and once you add that in there, you want to add your seasoning. I add a gobe or a gaibe sauce. It's really good. It's going to turn it a little bit of yellow. It's okay. Just add a little bit. Have that spatula. Stir it up. Let all the flavors mix in. Put a lid on it and let it sit and get golden brown. Alright guys, right now we're going to take the lid off. This is looking great and good. You hear the sizzle, the royal. So you're going to take your spatula and you want to stir it around one good time. You see that the bell pepper and onion is translucent and your meat is browning. That is a sign of a good cook and you are on task with making this meal delicious. So the next thing you want to do, you want to add your one bag or one jar of sauerkraut into your pan. Remember, this is a one pan dip. If you want to take out the meat, you can, but why do all that? We're not trying to wash dishes. We're not trying to make a mess. And all the flavors has been browning in that pot are going to get onto the sauerkraut and make it even delicious and tasty. So once you dump that in there, just stir it up. Get all the flavors mixed, get everything incorporated. And then from there, I'm going to tell you what you need to go farther to take the twang out of Wang or to Wang, I don't know. I was trying to rhyme right there. It doesn't really matter. So what you need to go do is get your seasons that you used earlier, the agave or whatever season that you like, and then you want to go ahead and get the special ingredient, brown sugar, and also accent salt. That's just something in my favorite. This is where the homemade part comes in because no one knows how you took the twang out of the sauerkraut. That's the big problem that everybody's trying to figure out. And guess what? You got the secret, and I'm spilling the tea. So, I use one to two tablespoons of brown sugar. Light brown sugar. Don't use dark brown sugar because it's going to add like a color to it. Light brown keeps it all the same. Accent style, you just sprinkle to your touch. And I also went ahead and used red pepper flakes. Just a little spice that I like to add. Stir that around and let it simmer and put the lid back on there. And guess what, guys? You don't have the twang and sauerkraut no more and it tastes the bomb and I guarantee you people gonna be like oh make me some mm-hmm 